If you want to create your own color palettes, Canva offers a variety of ways for you to do that. You can choose a pre-made template, use Canva's color palette generator, or create your own. And that's what we're going to do today. My name is Kat. Let's hop into Canva. There are thousands of color palette templates that you can choose from to kind of get yourself started. And they have different formats, different shapes, color schemes, and you can choose one of these to kind of get an idea for how you might want your color palette to look. But what I really want to show you is how you can create something like this from scratch. And there's a very useful page on the Canva website. If you go to canva.com forward slash colors, it gives you this page here that gives you some tools that you can use when it comes to creating your color palettes. You've got a color palette generator, color palette ideas, a color wheel, and the meanings of different colors. And we're going to go through these one by one so I can show them to you. So the first one I'm going to click on is the color palette ideas. And right here, look at all these colors we have to choose from. And this is a great place to get started if you really have no idea what type of colors you want to use. And you can click on any one of these palettes and Canva will give you a suggested photo and what those colors look like in that photo. You can also highlight these and give it a little favorite icon so that you can come back to them later on. And if you want, you can even click on explore colors and go a little bit deeper into those color choices. Right here, we've got meanings and what they symbolize. So you just scroll down here, click on any one of these squares right here, and here you have what that meaning of that particular color is. It even breaks down the color conversions for different types of formats that you're using, whether you're doing something in hex or RGB or CMYK for print, you have all of those color code breakdowns as well. Then we're going to go to the color wheel. This one's really helpful because it it describes color theory and what the different combinations do when you're working with them. So the first thing that it describes is complementary colors. And those are two colors that are on opposite ends of the color wheel. So if I click on the color wheel and I start to drag this slider, you can see that it's changing my colors right down here and it's making them complementary to each other. Now, while it's doing that, it's also showing me the primary hex code right there. A hex code is just a six digit alphanumeric code that represents color online. And it's also showing the hex code for the two color options that are available in the complementary color scheme. If we go down to the next one, we have monochromatic, and that's simply colors that are the same color, but different shades or tones of that color. And once again, if I drag the slider, it will allow me to show those different shades. You see, I've got the different shades right here and the hex color codes right there. Next, we have analogous, and that's three colors that are close together on the color wheel. You can see right here, I've got those three colors. They're very, very close together. You know, the pinks, the purples, the blues. And as you drag that slider, you can see once again, it's going to change those colors and bring them together just like that. And if I, if I drag it out like this, it makes them a little more vibrant. If I drag it in, it makes them a little more muted. It's a really helpful feature on the color wheel. Next, we have triadic, which is three colors on the color wheel that are equally spaced, like a triangle. And again, drag that color wheel, and it will adjust those colors for me. And finally, we have tetradic, which means four. You have four colors on the color wheel. You can slide those around and pick those colors. And the last part of the color wheel right here on this outer edge, you can just drag this to bring the shade down a little bit. You can see there are more more muted right there, a little more transparent, or I can bring them up and make them a little more bold just by dragging the slider around on the color wheel. Next, we go to color meanings, and this is just an extension of the page I showed you a few minutes ago. So you can click right here where it says color meanings, or you can also access it by clicking on color palette ideas and then explore colors. It takes you to the exact same page. And then finally, and the best one, in my opinion, is the color palette generator. Now, when you click on this, Canva gives you a demo image right here with some color options. You can copy those colors. You can see as I hover over that, it will allow me to copy the color. It gives me the color name 
and the hex code. Now, if you don't really like that, you can click where it says try demo image and cycle through different sample photos that Canva is showing you. And as it's doing that, it's changing the colors as I click on each one of the demo images. What if you have your own image? Well, you can upload that as well and have Canva's color generator give you those color suggestions. So click upload image and grab a photo and open it. And there we go. We've got some color suggestions that Canva is giving us. Now, I'm not overly thrilled about this color right here. I would rather see maybe this green color show up in here. So we are going to adjust that. We're going to bring this exact same photo into a design, and I'm going to show you how to really fine tune what those color options look like. So let's go into a design. Here we have the exact same photo that I was just working with, those watermelons. And I want to make sure that I'm pulling out all of the colors that I really like. Now, Canva is very helpful with this because it's going to give me some color suggestions. First thing I want to do is give myself some um, circles or squares or some kind of shape. You can see right here in the template section, you've got some squares, circles, shapes, whatever, that's going to allow me to sample those colors. So I'll use circles just for right now. Grab a circle and you want to resize it a little bit. And then I'm just going to bring it up here in the corner. Now, if I click on this color box right here, I've got my brand colors. I've got different colors that Canva supplies, but look right here. It says photo colors. Canva is suggesting these five colors for this photo. And look at this. Where's that green I was looking for? So the uploaded photo in the color palette generator didn't quite fine tune that as much as I would like, but it does do a better job right here. So first thing you'll want to do is grab your circle and just pick any one of these colors. I'm going to use all five of these colors. So I'll click the first one. There's that fun teal color. And then all you want to do is duplicate the image. If I can get it to click, there we go. Duplicate the image a couple of times so that you have however many colors you want for that color palette. Then you'll click on the next circle and we're going to change the color. So just click on the circle, click on the box and pick the next color in that sequence. So I've got that one and you're going to repeat this for each additional circle. So I'll click each one of these until I get all the circles in those colors. I'm still not really thrilled about this one. So how do you fine tune that? Well, if you click on the color and click on the color box, and then right over here where you have this little plus sign that says add new, this is going to allow us to use an eyedropper tool to really pick the color we want. So I'm going to click on that eyedropper. And as I do that and I move it across my screen, you can see it's giving, giving me these sample colors. So I'll pick maybe that one. That one's a little better. I like that. I didn't like that peachy color that it was pulling out. It was probably pulling a little too close to this section here, but this one is a little better. If you want to fine tune it a little bit more, you can continue to tweak it by just grabbing that eyedropper tool. And let's see, maybe we want to go a little bit lighter right about here like that. And you can continue to do this. Now, what's really cool about this is that every time you add a new image to Canva, it is going to suggest new colors for you. So let's go add a couple more images. So we'll add one right here and we'll add one right here. I probably should have made that a background image. Let's do that real quick. There we go. And we'll add one more, that one right here. So now I have these other images, this one, this one, and this one. And watch what happens when I add, I'm just going to copy this circle right here. Copy that and I'm going to bring it down into this image right here. Bring it up to the top. Watch what happens this time when I choose the color. Click right here. Look what Canva did. It knows which photo I'm working with right now. It knows that I'm on page two. So it's automatically pulling the colors from page two. And I can do the exact same thing I did a few minutes ago and just click on that color and add the rest of them in. Now, if you have multiple colors or rather multiple photos in your design, if you click where it says see all, you can see all four of those photos and Canva has given me color suggestions for each one. What's really neat is as you hover, it even gives you the hex code for that color. 
So it's very intuitive when it comes to pulling those colors out. Now, one thing I do want to mention as far as when it comes to this little eyedropper tool, this is only available in the Canva app or in the Chrome browser. At the time of this recording, you cannot use this with Firefox or with Safari. It's just not a function of that particular web browser. Hopefully they'll include at some point in time because it really is a very helpful tool. So if you want this color pick picker, make sure that you're using the Chrome browser or download either the mobile version or the desktop version of Canva and you'll be able to use this. Now, I like to take my, my uh, palettes a little farther as far as my colors are concerned. It's fine just like this, but what's happening is I'm finding that this color is getting a little lost and so is this one. So I wanna give these shapes just a little bit of a border to kind of define that. So I'm gonna highlight my circles. I'm gonna go to my border style, just give it a small border, just like that. And you can make this border color anything that you like. I'm gonna use white, so I'll click on border color and change it to white. I find that makes it pop just a little bit more when it comes to adding these colors to your image. And then one other thing that you might like to do, if you're really interested in knowing what those hex color codes are at a glance, you can actually add them to each one of these shapes. And it doesn't have to be a circle. You can use any of these shapes that are available in Canva and add them here and make those options available for your color palette. So if you wanna add the hex code, you're gonna click on the circle, you're gonna click on the color, you're gonna click where it says add new color, and see how you have that hex code color right there? I'm gonna copy on my keyboard, Command C on a Mac, Control C on a PC. I'm copying that color code. Then just double click inside the circle and it will allow me to paste that color code in there. Now I can adjust the font. I can make it larger or smaller if I want to. So let's just grab this down a little bit. Can even make it bold. You can even change the font. You can go over here and pick any of the preset fonts that Canva has. And if you want to, you can even change the color of just the font right here. So let me add the other color numbers to these circles right here. So we've got that one. I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Copy and paste. I'm gonna to continue to do this for each one of the circles. Well, that did not work. Wrong paste. There we go. And then I'll go to this one. Copy and paste. Make sure you double click inside the circle. Otherwise it'll do what it did just a minute ago and pop it below rather than inside the circle. And my last one, copy and paste. There we go. Now I want to make these all the same size so they're uniform. So I'll just bring everything down to maybe 12 and everything as bold. Now you can see as I did this one, this is getting a little bit lost in this particular circle. So you can change just the text color without changing the circle color. So You can see right here where I have my text this will control my text color. This box controls my circle color. So I'm gonna click on text and I'll make it white. There we go. It's a little bit easier to see right there. And then you can continue to do that for any of the other photos that you have and create your own color palettes. You can even add some inspirational photos if you want to. You can do a collage of photos. You can see right here in the template section, you've got combinations where you've got inspiration photos right here and then add your color palettes. You've got sections where it's just a photo and then your colors. You can even do something really simple like just making a simple color palette choice right here and adding the hex codes right below it sky's the limit when it comes to creating these color palettes but it's a really great way to give yourself some inspiration especially if you're doing anything that requires your brand colors then you have everything right at your fingertips right within canva if this was helpful hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos that's all for this week see you next time